Uh, when I program in this game, I tend to go for the solutions that are the easiest to understand rather than perhaps the most clever, for better or worse, I guess. Why is this... Hold on, there's something a little bit off about the stream. There we go. Sorry about that. Cool. Okay, so duplicate removal. I don't know what this is all about. Let's go ahead. And see what the... Oh no! Somebody blasted a hole in the side of our building. You're Fred! God damn it. I don't have any mods on. Uh, hang on. Congratulations, Got the Revenant. You are now a certified banner of the spammers. Use this power wisely or unwisely. I don't really give a shit. Okay, you're Fred. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. But I have a note over here from your other supervisor. She's out sick to gay, but she says it's time to eliminate anaphysicies. And that's it. Send everything from the inbox to the outbox unless you've seen the same value before. Discard any duplicates. Oh. Huh. Interesting. What do we do about this one? I guess we need to keep a... A... Every, we need to keep like an array of everything that we've that we've seen, and that's kind of memory inefficient. That's really the only way we can do it, though. So, like, if we if we have an A, we add it to the end of our array. If, if we have, so we have, we need to loop through our array and constantly end to the append to the end of it every new value, which is fine. It's just that strikes me as being really. Potentially a really, really, really bad approach, but whatever. But at least we have enough space, I hope, to deal with this issue. I don't know. Let's grab, let's grab what we need, and then we need to copy that to say thirteen. We'll we'll call this uh, in copy. This is actually very similar to the thing that we just did in a lot of ways. So we and then we need our, our our index. So index. And then we need to iterate through like some values until. Uh, huh. Might be a different way of doing this than I'm thinking of. Yep. Okay. We do need to do this a slightly different way. So we need to build this list of things backwards from zero. So oh, you, you can't. Okay, well, anyway, um, so we need to copy not to 13, but we need to copy to 0, and this is going to be called our in cp y, and then this is our index. So we copy, we copy a, or the, the current input into there, and then we, we need to copy from zero and we copy that into I okay so this is our initialization and then we need some sort of looping construct here so we'll call this loop body my handwriting is particularly bad tonight so we have our loop body and what we need to do with this is we need to we need to test if every letter is equal or wow maybe this isn't the right approach huh I'm trying to see where I can build my array off of <laughs> Jesus Christ chat don't ban people like willy-nilly God, I gave- I told you to ban the spammer, instead of you ban a, a contributor to the- fucking- god damn it. Anyway, uh, um, so if I build this backwards from the back of this list, then we need to keep track of the capacity, and just- oh my god, this doesn't sound particularly fun at all. Um, well, no. So how do I know- Wow, this is actually hard. Okay. Um, if I go... Because basically I've been testing everything to see if I if it's a 
zero. Well, I can also just build up the array. Ah, I know what I can do. Okay. So we're going to get rid of this after all. We're going to set this as our N, C, and this is our I. And then when we initialize the very, very, very beginning of the program, we're going to copy from zero into zero. So this is going to be our front of, uh, basically, I guess we're building a linked list. Well, I guess not a linked list, but an array. Um, my god, Gaunt, I, modding you was an absolute mistake. Okay, let me go ahead and fix this. It's, uh, Chris the Renegade 13. Okay, uh, I think if you, if you just do unban... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can... I think I think he's unbanned now. If Chris wants to pop in here and say something, that would be that would be nice. But it's a shitstorm bird pulls help. Yeah, it clearly is. You guys could not manage a chat, apparently. <laughs> well, since I'm here, I might as well... Oh, at least Scott managed to delete the spammer after all, so he eventually figured it out. Screw it, he just waited out. Oh, come on. Uh, if I do this, and then do that. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, hang on, let me figure this shit out. I think I might have to go into the ban list of my damn chat, unless somebody knows a better way of doing this. Which means I have to go onto my dashboard. Okay, channel... Where is... Okay, let's see. How the hell do I remove somebody from the ban list? Alright, let's go to channel. Let's go to Chris the Renegade. I guess I... Okay, maybe I just have to type in, like, unban slash un... Or slash unban Chris the Renegade. You know what, uh, Gaunt the Revenant, you made this mistake, so you have to fix it. I am now dating you, head unban master. Okay. At any rate, let's get back to what I was doing, which is playing a video game for the internet, which is very, very important business. And gotta reload chat, too, now, so... <laughs> taking for fucking ever. There we go. Okay. It's all good now. Except for the, except for the shitstorm. But I'm gonna pretend that the shitstorm never happened, and that's gonna get fixed without me doing anything. All right. Um. Okay, hang on. Damn it! Slash un unban. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Poor Gatlin Laser is now getting is now getting spammed. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I mean that should do it. Okay, okay. Shitstorm is finished. <laughs> Finally, son of a bitch. All right, so we build up from here the front. Um. We're just gonna build a list by just adding everything everything to the to the end of the list when we reach it. So, to that end, what was I gonna say? We have our loop body. The very first thing we need to do is we need to we need to copy from our whatever is currently being indexed. So we copy from I relative. We jump if that's zero to the not in list, not in list, branch. And when something is not in the list, we add it to the end of our list and then we outbox it. So, for what we need to do in that instance is we're currently holding, uh, we're currently holding a zero. So we need to copy from our copy from the input. We copy it to where I is referencing, we increase I, and 
no, we, we outbox after that. Then we increase I and we jump back to our initialization block. Okay, otherwise we need to copy from our in copy. We need to subtract from what I is pointing to to test if they're equal. So is equal and if it's zero then it is in the in the body and we don't do anything okay this should do it i think as usual i'm gonna do this it's probably not gonna work and we'll find out so we copy zero into the start of our list we grab a we have apparently put it in the wrong spot oh no we just tested a bunch of shit did we what the hell happened there? Okay, so we copy to... Oh, we don't copy to front. We copy to the uh, in copy. There we go. That's why things weren't quite working. So let's pull out zero. We copy it to the front. We grab B. We copy it to our in copy. We put zero into the... We put... Z... No, 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 no. Okay, what is it doing? So we copy from 14 and we copy it to... We copy it to I. I don't know why it went to 1, but I think I just kind of remember that that was old dead code that I was trying to do there. Okay, so we copy from 0 into the front. Then we copy from C into the input copy. And we put 0 into I. We reference 0. 0 is the end of the list, so we put 0 into the front. We copy... Uh, whoops. Okay. So we don't bump I. We, because I is our index. Okay, so we don't actually do this step. We don't bump I. So we outbox what we're currently holding, and we copy from zero, and we copy it to where I is pointing. No, we need to, we do need to bump I at one point. Okay, so if we bump... I. There, okay. This makes sense to me. So, this should add whatever we're current, whatever we copied from the input into the end of the list. So, put zero in there. We grab zero. So there's the ends. So we copy from C. We put it into front. We outbox C because we're holding it. We bump up I. And we grab zero. We put it at the end of the list. Throw it away and we continue our loop. So, we load zero into there. We grab C and D. That's a 1. So we, then we grab... Ah, right. So I apparently am, a, am never actually increasing my index count. So I need to do that here. So if it's not 0, that means that... Okay, so all we need to do is just bump I here, I believe. I wasn't really paying attention to my code flow there, so I don't know when I'm supposed to increase I, but I know I have to do it at some point around relatively that area. So we grab zero, that's fine. We need to do this only oh, starting from here. Okay, so we grab, we grab B, we grab E, we subtract them to get three. We grab one, we copy zero, so we out. We then load E in there, outbox it. Okay, this is perfect. Cool. So this is a shitty algorithm. This is order n squared, which means it's really, really, really bad. But it's the only way that I can think of to do this without, like, bringing in a hash table, which we, of course, do not have access to. Um, but what do I mean by order of n squared? That means... For every element in the input, we need to do this entire, like, list that we're building. We need to check against every single one of those, which means for every input, we're doing n checks, which means that we're doing n times n work when you look at it that way. That's a, that is a, what's known as an asympt asymptotic complexity. And yeah, I don't really want to explain it too much further than I already have to but suffice it to say that's more or less it.